Hi, boys and girls. I thought it would be fun to pick one book about the night that we could read together. And I picked this book called When Sheep Cannot Sleep. All right, have you ever tried to get to bed and have found it hard to fall asleep? Do you know what they tell us we should do? They tell us that we should lay down, close our eyes, and have in our head a picture of a fence with sheep jumping over the fence. And then we count the sheep and that should make us fall asleep. But what do you do if you're a sheep and you can't fall asleep? Well, let's find out, okay? And we'll read this book through one time and then I'm going to show you something fun about the book too, okay? One night, a sheep named Wooly could not sleep. I'll go for a walk, he said, and wandered off down the meadow. Wow, is Wooly a good name for a sheep? I think so too. He chased a butterfly until it flew behind a small green tree. Do you see the butterfly? There on the tree trunk were two ladybugs fast asleep. I'm still wide awake, thought Wooly. Can you find the two ladybugs? There they are. Who, who, who called some owls? Time to go home. Do you see the owls? It's our time to come out, said a family of bats flittering overhead. Do you see the bats? Ooh, the bats are nocturnal. Do you remember that? Apples, said Wooly. I knew it was time for something to eat, but they are too high up for me. Can you see the apples? Try climbing, said the squirrels. Can't, said Wooly. There's a ladder, said the squirrels. Ugh, squirrels are so good at climbing trees, aren't they? And here's the ladder that maybe Wooly can use. Wooly put the ladder against the apple tree and climbed rung by rung until he could reach the sweet red apples. Look at Wooly on that ladder. Oh, he should be careful, shouldn't he? It was a lovely calm evening and Wooly was not a bit sleepy. Fireflies were dancing in the air. Now the fireflies are the white dots. Can you see some white dots there? And grasshoppers were singing in the long grass. Okay, this is really kind of tricky, but there are green grasshoppers down here in the green grass. Do you see them? Wooly climbed to the top of a hill to look at the view. Suddenly, flashing lights zipped across the sky. Wooly was very scared. Do you see the flashing lights? Oh no. He ran as fast as he could to hide among the trees, jumping over red tulips as he went. Do you see the red tulips? And look at Wooly's face. Does he look scared? Oh, I think so too. What a terrible fright, he panted. Where am I? In front of him was a house with lots of windows. Do you see the house? The front door was open, so he went in. There were lots of doors too. Do you see all those doors? Oh my goodness. In one of the rooms, he found some colored pencils. Good, said Wooly. I'll do some drawing. Do you like to draw? He was so pleased with his pictures that he hung them on the walls. Look at that. Those are beautiful. Oh, I think he drew pictures of just sheep. I'm hungry again, said Wooly. He went into the kitchen and cooked himself some nice green peas. Now, would you like to have peas for a midnight snack or for a snack at any time? Probably not, right? He took them into the dining room. I'm late for supper, he thought. Oh my goodness, look at that big table and all of those chairs and all of those plates. Now for a bath, said Wooly, with lots of bubbles. Do you see all the bubbles? Next door was a little bed with a pair of pajamas laid neatly on it. Stars are out already, thought Wooly. Where do you find the stars? I know, outside, outside the windows. Perhaps I'll just lie down in case I feel sleepy. Do you think he's going to fall asleep? 
he began to think. Look at Wooly. Look at his thoughts there. He thought about his mother and his father and his sisters and brothers and uncles and aunts. What were they doing? Were they already asleep? His family and friends went round in his head and his eyes closed. Look at all those sheep. Those are Wooly's family and friends. Wooly was fast asleep. The end. Oh my goodness. He counted sheep and he fell asleep. Oh. Now, here's another fun part about this book. How many butterflies are there? One. How many ladybugs? Let's count. One, two. Okay, so we had one. Now we had two. How many owls are there? One, two, three. <gasps> How many bats? One, two, three, four. Oh, we had one. We had two, three, four. What do you think's next? Well, let's find out. We have apples. Do you think we have five apples? One, two, three, four, five. <gasps> well, if there were five apples, how many squirrels do you think we have? Because we had one, we had a two, we had a three, we had a four, we had a five. Now we should have <gasps> six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six squirrels. What's after six? <sighs> Seven. Let's count the rungs of the ladder. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. What's after seven? Eight. We better have eight fireflies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many will we have on the next page? What's after eight? Nine. Okay, this is the tricky part because it's those grasshoppers. They're here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Oh, goodness. How many flashing lights do you think we'll have? If we had nine here, what's after nine? Ten. Help me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Now, what's after ten? Hmm. Is it eleven? All right. So let's see if we have eleven tulips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And 11 is one of those teen numbers we've been talking about. All right. If we had 11 here, 10, 11, what's the next number? 12. That's another teen number. Let's count the windows. Do we have 12? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. <gasps> Ooh, what number is next? 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, there's a... Another teen number. Well, we better have 13 doors. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. Wow. Okay, what's after 13? 11, 12, 13, 14. Well, let's see if we have 14 crayons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14. So then we have 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, another teen number. Let's see if we have 15 pictures. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, this is going to be tricky. How many P's? 11, 12, 13, 14. This was 15. 16. All right. 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Those are hard to count. All right, so what do you think the number will be next? 1, 2, 3, or let's start with 11. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Oh, for this one, we have to count the chairs. I'm going to start here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 chairs. And what would be after 17? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Let's count the plates. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 plates. 
All right, what would be after 18? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And notice all those numbers that we talked about, 11 through 19 are teens. Let's see if we have 19 bubbles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. <gasps> Does anybody know what's after 19? It's 20. And we better see if we have 20 stars. Oh my goodness. Let's, let's do this side and then we'll do this side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 stars. Oh, and Willie, he's still not asleep. What would be after 20? 21. Let's see if we have 21 sheep. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. Ah. All right. And now we have one more number. What would be after 21? 22. Ah. So we have 22 Zs, and that's for Wooly being asleep and snoring, okay? I'm going to start down here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. Isn't that fun? All right, boys and girls. Well, I hope you don't have any trouble getting to sleep. But if you do, you can be like Wooly and do some counting. Okay? Bye-bye, boys and girls.